Good afternoon. Happy Friday. It's January 22nd. This is your parent specialist, Colleen Koblinski, and I'm here to just to share some updates and some looking ahead information for you all. So we started our spring, or excuse me, our winter sports this week, and we were very excited to see them start with basketball, soccer, and wrestling. So this week we had a couple home games and a couple away games. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic and the rules that came down from the AIA, families other than the two parent or guardians that are for each athlete are not allowed to attend, but we do have the NFA. NFHS network available for you to purchase an annual pass or a monthly pass to watch all the home games and events. So if you're looking to watch our sports, you can do so online. We wish our athletes a great season, stay healthy, stay safe, and we look forward to what happens with our wonderful winter sports season. Um, also this week we had picture day and that was another great success for us this week. We had a lot of students come through. It was just um, very seamless in the way that it happened. There weren't a lot of issues that we came across. We just want to remind you of a few things. One, if you are a freshman, sophomore, or junior, you still have time to order your pictures online and that link will be in the newsletter. Also, if you um, did not have the chance to attend, we do have a makeup day in March coming soon. When I have more information about that, I will put it in the newsletter. But for right now, we have um, a day scheduled in March for our freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Seniors, on the other hand, have to go to the studio at this point, and you have until April 3rd to make that appointment. In the newsletter today will be a link and a phone number to contact grads, and you can make that appointment. All we really need from you is your headshot for the yearbook, but they will also offer you the option to do a full package if you would like to go into a setting that is safe and clean and um, COVID-free for you to attend, you can make your appointment with grads. Also, speaking of photos and things like that, the yearbooks are still on sale at this time. They're on sale now for $65. At this point, we have decided to move back our end date for completion for the yearbook, and that's to ensure with the way that things have been going that we have enough time to get all our winter and our spring sports in the yearbook. So again, there's still time to buy a yearbook, $65. You can buy it online through TouchBase, and we also encourage you to get that book as soon as possible. Also, for our class of 2021, if you would like to purchase an ad, and we have different options available, a full page, a half page, and a little baby size photo ad, you can also do that. Those prices and information will be in the year in the newsletter, and you'll be able to contact Mrs. Sweat directly, and I'll put her email in there if you have any questions about what you need to submit. Also, in February, the class of 2021 We'll be getting a newsletter update from Mrs. Jones. In there, she will kind of make sure everyone's on the same page with what to expect, what needs to be done, credits for graduation, what we know is the update as of that moment with graduation. It's still set for May 15th at the State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Of course, right now with things being the way they are, we hope and plan for this to be the day and the time, but we don't know for sure, but we will soon, as we find out, provide more information for you. So if you have any questions, make sure to look out for that update. Also, looking a little bit ahead into March, which even though it's only January, it will be here soon. Spring break is March 8th through the 12th. Remember, that will be a no school week and it will be a week off. Um, and we hope that by then the weather is a little bit better than it is out today. Um, as you all know, back in the fall, we were awarded as an A-plus School of Excellence for the second time, and we're so, so excited about that. We just wanted to let everyone know that we still have a plan to have some sort of celebration. We're waiting until things get a little bit better and the weather's a little bit warmer. So look out for that as a live video and for more information about that in the newsletter. But we do plan on having a ceremony for our A-plus School of Excellence um, award. Also, we have great things that we're looking forward to. As you might have seen recently, the spring musical is underway. They had auditions, and I know that their theater department is working so hard to put on a great performance this spring. Also, we are looking forward to a dance show coming up, and we we'll have more information about that also as it gets closer and just so that everyone knows there's been a lot of questions like i said we do have the plan for graduation on may 15th and we are all, are all so looking at possibilities of doing some sort of prom or end of the year um reception and, and event for our students again so much will be determined on what our numbers look like and the metrics and what is best and most safe for our students and our community but it is something that we as a team have been working on and planning for and we hope to do something for our students and we hope to get them back on campus soon and a 
speaking of coming back on campus, I know there's been a lot of questions that have come my way into the other um, members of the school and the administration team. And we just wanna let you know that a lot of that information can be found on the board meetings. And the board meetings for February will be twice for the month on the 3rd and the 17th. And the meetings now are at 5 p.m. So please make sure to watch those meetings if you can. They will be live broad, broad, broadcast excuse me, on their YouTube channel, and then they're also available for playback. But that's the best place to get information about what's being decided for our return to school. And again, it's based on the metrics and what we can do to keep our students and our staff safe. Um, with that, if you have a friend or family member or coworker, or you know someone that was applying to have their student come to Desert Edge, please make sure you get your registration paperwork in soon. We don't want you to not have that opportunity. So please make sure that you get that in. We're requiring that you have everything fill out and submitted um, before we can accept your packet complete and whole. But if you have any questions, we have a great team here to help you in our counseling department, and they'd be happy to answer any questions. And just one more note, on February 15th, we have a no school day. So that means that that Monday will have a no school day and that Wednesday will also be a full day of school, no late start, and we will follow the Monday schedule like we did this week. We are sorry for any confusion. We feel that it went pretty smooth and seamless, but for those of you that maybe didn't get the announcement ahead of time, I'm just giving you a little bit of a heads up. And the other thing that we have coming up in February is on the 3rd also is an early release day. So that means no late start. School will be over by 11.10 and there will be no afternoon classes. So those are the updates and things that we're looking forward to for the next semester. I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy, staying safe and staying warm today. It's a little cool out there. But I thank you again for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or you have any concerns, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My email address is always in the newsletter and I'm happy to help you and assist you in any way possible. Have a great day, great weekend, stay safe. We are DE. Thank you.